everybody, Josie Cat seventy nine, and here. Capsule Hunter two fifty one here. My sis. Okay, so uh, I just got sent a trailer inside uh, my notifications this morning from a good friend, uh, Hugo Blood eighty eight J. Thank you. So it's for Shin Godzilla, the new release coming out uh, this October from Funimation. So we might see some new footage, might not, but. Like I said, this is uh, the first time that we're going to get a trailer that's marketed toward the American public to want to go see this new Godzilla, so we're hoping we see something nice. Uh, something that gets us excited, at least. And I haven't done a reaction for none of the past Shen Godzilla, so it's going to happen when I'm at school or we're away, but uh, we're really excited for this one. Yep. And also, yeah, she, doesn't she look nice? <laughs> <laughs> this is like my first time reacting, reacting to something. Alrighty then, so microphone ready. There's this... And okay, queued up. Fun, fun. There's fun animation. Nice. Unlike the Japanese trailers, which were uh, all about, you know, uh, Shiro Sagisu's music, you know, the persecution of the masses, who will know. This one goes for the more classic Goji, I noticed. It goes for the 54 theme, which... Yeah. It sounded better. It's the best version I've ever heard of the classic Goji theme. It's definitely the old one, but it doesn't sound... Because the old ones had crackles and hisses. This was, like, the most clearest I've ever heard that theme. I wonder if it's actually, if it's actually even a movie, or are we just doing it Well, actually, uh, I have been looking on the boards, and a few things came out. One of the things, the soundtrack does have some classic tracks listed, like Akira and the list of the history, so mm -hmm. we might actually hear the theme. I know hearing the new Godzilla theme with him in the city was nice. And while we do like the Shiro Sagisu music, it does make it feel very Evangelion. I, I know that we said that. Yes, it's Evangelion! <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, so, I, someone even jokingly said, this is the closest we're ever going to get to a live-action Evangelion movie. And well, I'm going, we're better than Attack on Titan. Oh, wait, no, that same director is doing this, too, so... Ah, okay. You, it, don't, don't, don't end up saying that. And Attack on Titan was great. It was weird, but... Well, it is something. If you guys seen it, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, well, you're not... You know what? I still think we should just watch the entire movie and just film my reactions. Oh, well, we already filmed our first reaction. You were, like, just going off the walls over some of the weird-ass twists and that. But, but yeah, so October 11th to the 18th, uh, local, check your local theaters. They say go to Funimation.com in the trailer. Uh, there's a Shin Godzilla. So hopefully it'll be playing in a theater near you. And you guys will get to witness it, and it'll inevitably come out on Blu-ray, and then we'll be able to see it all at home. And But it's exciting. For the first time in 16 years since Godzilla 2000, we're going to be getting a Japanese Godzilla film in American theaters. It hasn't been done since 85, almost 30 years ago, and that wasn't done in... Uh, and, that was in the, uh, and while I do like the American films we've made, you know, Godzilla 98 and Godzilla 2014... I guess it's to, to see a true blood Japanese Godzilla movie on the big screen. It feels right. It, it'll be awesome. So uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of Godzilla fans are hyped. I know there's some Godzilla fans who have read things, others who have actually seen it, and uh, you know, I honestly do not like the fact that some people are just 
not liking it for certain before things. it even came before, out before they even see it yeah don't yeah if you, unless you've seen it don't 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 don't, don't jip on it uh, i think i mean yeah it's, it's safe to say oh, i'm not going to see that because it looks wonky or this or that that you're free to do that but uh those who say you know it's like back then when people were saying Godzilla 98 was superior to the past Godzilla before it even came out. There was a time people said it, so don't deny that this never happened. But there were people who were going to say this is going to kick the, the butt of all the old rubber suit monster movies. And then it came out and people, some immediately hated it, some liked it, some grew out of it. Uh, I myself am still a fan of 98, but uh, the uh, I'm just saying though is that this... I think this Godzilla dick measuring contest of who's the bigger one is getting ridiculous. And I'm just saying, as kaiju fans, we're happy. It's Godzilla. He's mm -hmm. back. Uh, we've, in the, in the last decade, in the current decade so far, we have uh, legendary pictures bringing back, you know, Godzilla. We have Pacific Rim. We're getting a new King Kong movie next year. We, we're getting Godzilla versus King Kong down the line. Toho's making new Godzilla movies. Hopefully they'll make more. You know what I'm looking forward to seeing? The mm. anime. And the anime film's coming out next year. So it is a great time to be a Godzilla fan. When there was a time when... He just dried out, disappeared. All you could find him was in toys, comic books, and the occasional Saturday afternoon matinee TV thing. But now, you know, he's back. He's recognized as the star that he is. I mean, people are still going to make fun of him as being this wonky guy in a suit and all. But we all know as Godzilla fans that he's more special than that. He's nostalgic. He's, he's, he's our, you know, our childhood for some. He's a, a sign of doom. He's a hero. He's, a, he's all this stuff. So uh, to see you get this Godzilla who promises to be the scariest Godzilla in a long time is exciting. I know people thought that 2014 was going to be scary and he ended up being a lovable, cuddly hero. I mean, Armis just thinks he's adorable. Yep. <laughs> so, um... Honestly, I don't really find him all intimidating at all. Um, 2014. No, but... Oh, I mean... He's, well, he's more cuter. Well, yeah, I mean, he's supposed to be on our side. He's not meant to... People thought when they saw the trailers with, with uh, Walter White saying Stone Age and everything, they thought it was going to be... Uh, no, a, a doom and gloom, and those Nemudos he was talking about. But okay. yeah, but yeah, but I'm saying is that. But uh, you know, I am actually looking to whatever, when, if they, whenever they make the sequel oh, in 2014. They are. They're going to make one. It's been yeah, I wonder what their, what the designs are going to be like for the monsters. Oh, like Ghidorah, Mothra, all those guys, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's a shame Gareth Edwards is off on that. He made, he went to go make Star Wars, and then he thought, yeah, I'm going back to smaller films, so he left Godzilla to the dry. So, uh, well, I believe in you, Eddie. Uh, uh. So okay, but yeah. Um, Godzilla is back. He's looking bigger and better than ever. Some people make fun of the design. I think Shin Godzilla is cool. It took me a while to get come around to it because at first I, I wasn't quite sure what to make of it. I thought he looks cool. He looks like 54. Other times I thought, okay, that's kind of. There's this very unflattering picture of him on the internet of him from the very front where he looks like a, a pear because of his big hips. Mm -hmm. Well, Heisei Godzilla had pear shaped body too, but this is like, like, ooh. Well, I'm I'm just gonna call, I know his name is Shane Godzilla, but I'm just call him Ava Unit Godzilla. He's well, they did make those crossover Godzilla merchandise, which when are we gonna get some of that over here? I don't want to go to those. I don't want to go to eBay and have to pay up the ass to get that like bitch in Godzilla Unit One hybrid or or some of the paintings. Hell, that they're making. is there a freaking way to do it? Heck, I'll probably do the same thing if Killer Instinct for some reason releases something yeah. like that. Yeah, and I'm saying is that. Uh, She's on a killer instinct crazy. I'm saying it's because uh, some of the stuff is Japan. Oh, there's a motorcycle. But some of the stuff is Japan exclusive, and I think that's it, it's like why should they have all the fun? Because he's he's ever since he was exported, you know, all those years ago, Godzilla has stopped being just Japan's trade treasure and being something for the rest of the world. They shared it. Or so. for that matter, you think it's probably the same fate as Gamera and Ultraman? Oh no, those guys are still coming. Uh, we're still we still waiting to hear news about the new Gamma Club. But we're in the Kaiju Renaissance again because, like I said, we got the, all the stuff that America's making. We got the new Ultraman. We got the new Gamera. So, like I'm saying, is I'm just excited because back then, you know, this is stuff I'd find in magazines sequestered away in the back of the book section. This is the stuff that you'd find, uh, you know, looking on cable on Saturday morning, seeing a sci-fi marathon, and and to see it get this much recognition is just you know gratifying in a way. So. And that, and this is, this is technically going to be, technically the, uh... Second Godzilla movie? Well, third if you count third. the Sammy movie. Well, I, I've seen in theaters. Yeah, so, oh, wait, no, wait, no, 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 we've we, we seen, we, okay. We, we went to that Godzilla-thon Yeah, we went to a Godzilla-thon. Marathon thing. thing. <laughs> okay, so we've seen 98, I'm counting that one, fight me. <laughs> 98, we've seen, uh, in, in theaters, we saw the marathon had Ghidorah, GMK in it, that one was a good one. Love it. Uh, then we went to see 2014. So this will be the fifth time for us. Wait, didn't they also share... Wait, was those only two they showed at that? Well, there was one? two more, but we missed it. But the uh, mm -hmm. point is, though, uh, no, there's, 
something about seeing Godzilla on the big screen is worth it. I mean, yeah, for most of us, he's a memory. We see him in the VHS or in the little TVs, and those are nice and all. He in fits fact, there. wasn't our first Godzilla film we saw was Godzilla vs. Gigant? Yes, that was the first film we saw mm -hmm. after Godzilla 98. That, I mean, although I did see parts of Godzilla vs. Mega Godzilla 2 on TV, and I saw, uh, I saw, uh, you know, we had the Godzilla storybooks. Well, like, uh, I remember seeing GMK one time on Sci-Fi. Yeah, that, that, that was the marathon we watched out, Destroy All Monsters and all the rest of it. Yeah. We could sit here all day talking about our Godzilla memories, but point is, we wanted to do this reaction for you guys of mm -hmm. Godzilla officially coming stateside and limited release. I hope it's not too limited, I hope, we hope that the theater right next to our house gets it, because... And I just hope that it's going to be as awesome as, well, as... A lot of the reviews are saying for it. Oh, yeah, because there, there are people who've seen it already who call it a masterpiece, and some of them might be overselling it, some of them might be setting us up for a fall, but at the same time, though, I've heard more good than than, than bad, so this is it's, it's definitely middling, but it's not like it's not like in BBS where you have some saying that's just absolute garbage and others saying it's great. Like, it, there's such a great divide. you got people meeting on the middle saying there's things. That not. So, Shane Godzilla coming, uh, and can't, October can't come fast enough. It's... Uh, It'll be almost almost a month. In two days, it'll be a month away. So that's going to be a long month away of waiting. But it'll, it'll be worth it if we can go ahead and see it. Okay, it's going to go by pretty fast for me. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you <laughs> got it. Okay, so Dorothy Cat 79 signing off. This is Absol Hunter. Absol Hunter, out.